Hey, how's it going, everyone? I looked at a, I think, probably the most oldest question towards 3D art and character creation on my channel. Um, I looked at a comment a while ago and recently learned how to do it quite well and quite easily. So I thought I would share my knowledge and share how I would do it. Um, that question is, how would you be able to get clothing separate from Character Creator 3 um, or, you know, clothing in general onto a base mesh in Unreal Engine, but to attach it and unattach it? So, like in theory, the Dark Souls games where you could attach and unattach a piece of clothing or change equipment. So, how do you change equipment in... Unreal Engine, how do you export clothing from other applications to Unreal to make sure that the clothing attaches properly. So in Character Creator 3, I've got jeans. So create some jeans. Do the usual procedure of transferring skin weights. So transfer skin weights. Make sure it's like tops and shorts slash jeans. What you do is go on to skeleton. Open Unreal Engine APOs. What you want to do here is FBX Clothed Character Unreal. Uh, oh yeah, one other thing you want to do is make sure... So my character's completely naked, but it's got jeans on top. All the faces are actually showing, so no faces are deleted. So what you want to do is, when you have two folders, character and clothes, you can, you know, you can say wherever you want, but I've sectioned my folders into what's going to be the character base mesh and what's going to be the character clothing. Um, so what you want to do, file export, FBX clothed character, Unreal, uh, max texture size 49.6, don't embed, so don't embed textures so that exports can, it exports the textures for you in a separate folder. Um, current pose when you're on that Unreal Engine A pose, Export, so it's going to character, base. It's relatively quick, well, it's relatively quick to get this done. All you really need to do is just wait for everything to export and, you know, that should, I think it takes like maybe 10 minutes to get everything exported. But yeah, this method's great if you want like a normal character base, but then you want cloth uh, clothing to be applied in, in game instead of like, just exporting a character of clothing. Uh, this would be great for if you want to make like a game such as you know Grand Theft Auto or um, yeah the Dark Souls series, like any um, hack and slash RPG game, anything like anything which would need changing of equipment. This is a great method to do, especially if you're using Character Creator Three, because it's very simple just to get everything like exported and set up. So when it loads, uh, one other thing is when you're using Maya, so I'm using Maya to do this. You may use a different application, but the way I'm doing it is through Maya. So if you are following along, make sure you're using Maya. So go into, go into Maya, get that character file, um, 3D object. Right, now you have this. Highlight your clothing, so mine will be the jeans and the button. So... Come on, button, jeans. So highlight button, jeans, and your base root. So highlight the root, the jeans, and the button. File, export. It's going to close and do jeans. So this is where you're gonna to, uh, to export your clothing with the rig. Export selection. Once you've done that, go back to Character Creator 3. Delete the jeans and the button. Or delete your clothing. It's just so like you have a, a naked male base mesh. Export this FBX uh, character. Like that. Just export the exact same way you did. And then just save over that character. One thing you may want to do beforehand is get your textures 
So copy these textures. Going to close, going to textures. And paste here. Go into your texture folder and you'll find jeans low. You have your ORM map, so copy that. Paste. That's all sorted, so you've got your textures and your jeans. Go into character, delete that base mesh. Now export as a naked base. Once you've done that, go into here, you'll find mesh. So I actually exported the character earlier for like testing purposes. My base is here, so what I'll do is move that to here. So you find my character base is there. As you can see, exact same character. Um, just saves time having to, you know, because I did stuff earlier, I've got it all sorted. Let's do that, and then when you go on your clothes, um, go here, drag in your jeans and textures. Skeletal mesh, import mesh, yeah. Use TO as reference pose. Import morph targets. Make sure those four are selected, those two are selected. Import all. Go into, you have skeleton tree, which will be the Unreal Engine um, skeleton tree. Um, so let's do skeleton, add new, jeans. Select rig, humanoid rig. This will then set up for that Unreal Engine um, base mesh. Um, delete your delete your material for it. You don't need that. What you want to do here is with the material. What you want to do is go into Character Creator three. Um, Go into clothing, get any any clothes you want. So get any clothes you want. That'll be like the you know underwear or anything. Get that, it's PBR, which is what you want. File, export, FBX, Unreal, Max Textures, Current Bows, Export. Save this in like a new file. So, underwear. Save it as underwear. And that's exported. Um, let's take one of these characters, for example. Go into their material. So, pretend this is the underwear guy. Go on materials. Um, go into that. So, yeah. Character, material, folder. Is you just get like any material that is clothing based, um, duplicate it and say jeans mat. Click this option here so you can drag into another folder. Let's go back into military chick. Uh, where is it? Jeans mat. Drag that into your close folder. Yeah, close folder. You'll find a new material there. So these are Character Creator 3, you know, materials that they've already created. So double click that. Here you want to get your diffuse for your you know, jeans or whatever you want. Let's get a diffuse there. Your normal channel is going to be here. Jeans. Uh, null. There's no opacity, so don't bother with that. ORM. We're going to jeans ORM. And save. Oh, is it two? Yeah, two sided. Go back into your jeans and go into G 
Dunes map. So whatever material you used to, well, you want for that piece of clothing, go on to, you know, whatever material you need. Yep, so that's the jeans. All textured material set up for it, so save that. Now what you need to do is go into your content. You should have your third person BP. Mine's this character. Go on to viewport. You got your character here. Quite normal. Um, go on to here, add component. Skeletal mesh. Go on here, go on to jeans. Is that the right one? Yeah. Go on to jeans. That would just be still like that. You don't need an animation class for it. Go on to your event graph. Drag this so that's probably like, let's rename that to be jeans. Drag jeans there and drag that to be target. Your mesh. Drag that. Oh, actually, we we'll just go from the beginning. So what you need to do is right-click, event, begin play. So create one of those. Set my suppose I'm doing. Go on to your jeans. Go on to. Set master pose component and drag your mesh down and drag that into new master bone component. Event, begin play, that. Compile it and you'll, what you'll find is your clothing or jeans will just be how they, you know, how they look like that. That is absolutely fine. So, yeah, your jeans will be like that. As long as you did the first bits where you go on to that skeleton, um, add new jeans, select rig humanoid, it will then act as though it's moving with the Unreal Engine skeleton. So, when I hit play, the jeans will be attached to the character and they should be moving exactly with him as they should. Um, so yeah, that is, that's that video done, I guess. Very simple. So as soon as you like begin playing the game, those clothes will be attached to the character, um, which would be, you know, you can choose when that skeletal mesh is active, when it gets, um, attached. Yeah, that is... That's a tutorial on how you get your clothing from like Character Creator 3, uh, making it and rigging it there uh, into Maya, and then Maya exporting the clothing separately so that you can then attach it uh, like an RPG game and all that stuff. So yeah, if it was useful, let me know. I absolutely loved making the video. I um, only realized how to do this method today, so I was like, I should probably show you guys it but yeah cool so let me know if it helped if it did that's great um it was probably the longest um well the oldest question i've had on the channel so i thought i'd answer it and do a video on it so yeah if you liked it please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video